Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary. Happy Felon Friday. I'm a little late today, but I'm here. It's love after lockup, life after lockup, love during lockup, word on the street time. And let me tell you guys, it's been a week. It's been a week over in 90 Day Fiance Land as Scott. It's been a week, but I'm here in Love After Lockup Land. So let's jump right in. I got a word on the street for you guys. So July 21st, it'll be Felon Fridays again. And I cannot wait because I am bored as hell on Friday. I don't know what to do with myself. I miss you guys so much. Cannot wait to go live again on Saturday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. West Coast time with my co-host, with my rotating, revolving door of co-hosts. You never know who it may be. And I can't wait to start ripping this cast apart. In particular, this idiot. Now, the show hasn't even started airing yet, and he's getting his ass ripped on social media already. His whole ass is being shown. Check this out. His wife is on Facebook telling everyone that he's still married to her, okay? And he was seeing his wife and his inmate, Brittany, at the same time. This is the dude that is in law enforcement, okay? And decides that he's going to take a chance in dating an inmate, okay? Well, apparently he's married still. And check this out. He's a habitual liar. He was just at his wife's house a few days before this post. He doesn't have a, post, a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. He's in debt big time, and he changes jobs like underwear. Sounds like a real winner. And apparently, Brittany, his inmate, is no longer with him. Kind of sounds like his wife spoiled the whole storyline even before it aired. But let's see. July 21st isn't even here yet. But it sounds like this guy's a real winner. Looking forward to this, aren't you guys? Drop me a comment and let me know what you think. But we still have Mr. and Mrs. Chips and Mr. and Mrs. Collier to look forward to. Check out my articles on wordonthestreetreality.com for more. So Jada went to visit her Mr. in jail. And we have Jada hanging out. And it is hot AF where she is. And I love these um boho style earrings that she's showing off here. But one thing I'm going to say is her guest bedroom is a vibe. Okay? It's a vibe. That's what I'm going to say. Now, as for Mrs. Collier, her doggy is an adorable brat. I'm going to say that. But she is a boss babe. Okay? She has her own tax business, and she is a tax professional. So if there is someone that can guide you into fixing your credit, I would assume it would be Letitia Collier as opposed to Montana Mills. Just saying. Happy birthday, heiress. And she looks fantastic. I love this dress. And Cam, you know, being the father of, you know, her kids is wild. But, you know, you are a great dad. And look at heiress with Lena. And I just love this family. And I think we should talk about them more and less Monique and Derek Crap. So, happy birthday, Eris. I love these throwback pictures of her that she posted. Little little girl Eris, teenage Eris. Love it, love it, love it. 
and baby Charlie. Look at these sonogram pictures of baby Charlie. Okay, Cam insists that baby Charlie has his face and baby Charlie has this big personality and she's not even here, mommy says. Lindsay and Blaine spending date night out together. And I love that chain, Blaine. Love that hardware around your neck. Looking good. And speaking of Lindsay, she was not happy. She went live the other day because she had a tattoo appointment, okay? She made an appointment with this dude and um, she showed up there and she waited for like 45 minutes, almost an hour. And the guy like never showed up. The place was closed. And then he like finally texted her to tell her that he wasn't coming. And yeah, that's really annoying because everybody's time is precious and do not waste my time. I will be pissed AF. So yeah, I get you, Lindsay. Adorable Mason for anybody that needs a smile and Bobby and Taylor twins for life. Addie and Abby enjoying the splash pad at the water park. And this is where I wish I was right now. It is hot and humid and sticky AF in New York City right now. And this looks fantastic to me right now. Brittany is sharing her breakup story online because she feels like a lot of people are talking about her breakup story and she wants people to know that it's real and she held it together for her children. And she shares this picture of her on a beach looking at a rainbow and she's letting people know that she is finding her way and this is her story. Montana Mills, reminding everybody that in a world full, full of chaos, family is what you should value the most. That and a good credit score. So if you need your credit to be repaired, Montana Mills is also there for you. So if you would like to hand over all of your personal information, including your social security number, mother's maiden name, date of birth and address to Montana Mills, the aspiring rapper, He'll fix your credit. I'm not recommending that you do so. Considering that his rap manager, Mocha, Mocha Blast, a.k.a. Lydell Birch, his real name, is a big fat scammer. And I have covered this on wordonthestreetreality.com, part one, part two, and now this is part three. Mocha. When are you going to stop scamming women out of money with these BS stories? Now, part three focuses about this board that you were buying for the studio. Did you buy this board? Does the studio exist? Are you doing anything with this board? Please check out my story on wordonthestreetreality.com for more. Because, you know, Mocha, it has recently come to my attention that a woman has a judgment for, uh, what is it, $23,145.78 against you. And it was filed as recently as March 14th of this year. I mean, Mocha, you need to stop scamming women to fund your lifestyle. Whatever you're doing, you need to stop it. The receipts are there. Now for Monique and Derek shenanigans. Monique is holding both a pajama party and a pool party in Marlington, Texas on July 29th and July 30th, respectively. And I'm thinking of flying out there and crashing both. And Monique is also um, helping us learn how to apply lip liner. So go check out her YouTube video. Monique has a lip liner tutorial. And not to be outdone, Elizabeth is launching her own beauty brand. So go and support Elizabeth's beauty brand, which will be launching soon. 
Okay. And Derek, who has been silent for the longest time, besides posting like his promo stuff on social media, because remember at one point, Derek was like posting all of these like inspirational messages. He was like Cam at one point with like all these inspirational messages. Well, he went like quiet, like, and he was posting just promo stuff. Well, his first, like, I guess, statement in a long time, the internet be too quick to believe the negative, parentheses, bad. Be real slow to believe the positive, parentheses, good. Protect your energy, reason why I'm unbothered. And then today he posted these pictures. Um, he even posted this cool collage to his story in case, you know, you missed the whole post. So he posted, you know, the collage of all the pictures and um, cool jacket, cool shades. As for Blasian, um, his alleged pregnant fiance, um, she's hanging out in East Cleveland and she posted very early this morning alive where she said she was hanging out with her man i heard a voice in the background and then she posted to her actual story my man my man my man and i'll keep not posting face bitch i mean i happen to be up at six at 6 a.m i'm an old lady my bladder was knocking i was you know doing my business not to give you guys tmi and i saw that she went live and I happened to be listening. I wasn't screen recording at 6 a.m. Sorry, guys. And I heard a voice in the background. And I'm not going to 100%, you know, strap myself to a lie detector test and say it was Derek, but whatever. If you haven't checked out my interview with Blasian, Derek's alleged pregnant fiance, please do. But all I have to say is I cannot wait for the new season to start so we have new people to talk about and new people to rip because I am so bored. And Derek and your manager, I am still waiting for a response about the disparaging comments that I made before our scheduled interview that caused you guys to cancel 20 minutes before. Because you know, this is the second time, Derek, that an interview has been postponed. And I take a lot of effort into, you know, putting into my interviews and I don't like my time being wasted. Like Lindsay, I get really annoyed when people waste my time, but unlike Lindsay, I don't go live and like, you know, but I get really annoyed. So please, I would like to know what disparaging comments I made before I interviewed Blazin that caused you to cancel 20 minutes before. Just want to know. Okay, moving on. Now, you know, there's going to be this update thing that's going on, the Love After Lockup update thing where they're going to be filming. Well, um, apparently it's, you know, little segments where they'll be filming with past cast members, going to have fan questions for them and little things like that. Um, Chevelle is having a pony day and we shouldn't be worried about what she's doing, worry about why we're worried about what she's doing, but word on the street is she should be really worried about what Quaylon's doing, just saying, but congratulations, they're engaged. Indy looking beautiful. I love this color on her. Indy went live with her friend Brittany. Her mom, Yolanda, is still soaking in all of the birthday wishes and word on the street is we will be seeing an update with Indy. And I'm actually glad to see an update with Indy. And word on the street, we will be seeing an update with Haley and Dalton and Hendrix and Santiba and her new man and Jessica 
will be getting the rest of the tattoo on her stomach covered up. Word on the street. We'll see what's going on with her and get an update. And actually, word on the street, Dustin has been released from jail. I need to research this into more, find out exactly what's going on. But yes, Dustin has been released again. And it looks like Tiffany will be back for an update. Let's see what's going on with her and her new man, Thomas. It wouldn't be word on the street without a bit, a little bit of Lacey and Shane. And Shane wants all of us to follow him on TikTok. And it wouldn't be word on the street without Mandy and Maurice. But hey, Mandy, I have something to remind you of. I have an announcement for Mandy. Hey, Mandy, you aren't legally married. Legally divorced from Jessica. Just saying. Jessica is suffering from hot as fuck weather. And I would melt in this weather. Just saying. And her son, you guys know how I feel about her son. I just want to squeeze the sh out of those cheeks. And it wouldn't be word on the street without a little bit of Dylan and Heather. Now, last week, Dylan was having a total meltdown, remember? Marissa was against him. His friends were against him. I mean, he was having a meltdown times a thousand. But now he's shirtless with a man bun and a pair of cool shades. And um, everything seems to be okay. But apparently, if you're reading this, it's too late. I don't know what any of this means. I really don't. I can't wrap my mind around this crap half of the time. But... Marissa wants all of us to know that she's at the underground now and waiting for everybody to come and spend their money. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on. And speaking of what the heck is going on, I'm telling you, it's been quite a week. Heather posted this to her story. What is the best way to dispose of a body? Why? Why would you post this to your story, even if you're Googling this? I don't understand any of this. Attention-seeking. Can we say attention-seeking mental illness? It is just so sad and just out there. And Heather just wants everyone to know that she is Coco Heather Senza, the mom, the friend, the woman, the wife, the confidant, the warrior, the poet, the writer, the fixer, and she is the problem. Heather, I think you just need to take your medication and accept the help that your family wants to give you. But no, instead, she will rather harass people in the mall than Chicago. I don't get it. Garrett and his girlfriend, the couple that practices dental hygiene together, stays together. Glorietta rocking her new bangs. And Kayla is celebrating two anniversaries. The anniversary of her hairline and her anniversary. And I love this picture of... Uh, I love this picture of Kayla and her son. And Kayla and her children have a really special relationship with each other. She's always a parent first, but they have, you know, that friendship parent relationship. And her cat is where I want to be right now. I really want to be sleeping like Dior. That is all I have to say. So I just want to close out this Friday night edition of Word on the Street by saying, you know, 95% of the time, I don't want to get involved in the drama, 
but I want to know 1001% of what happened. I know I just screwed this up, but I'm doing it my version. Thank you so much for watching me. Please hit subscribe if you don't already. Please like this video and share it with a friend or 10. Happy Felon Friday, everyone. See you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.